All right, so now the guitar frets. These are these little boxes divided by these horizontal lines. And on a guitar, you press in the middle, not on the actual fret. To understand this, we're gonna be using the musical alphabet and the string names. I have videos that cover both of these topics. I'll have the links in the description. We will also be learning a new term, semitone, also known as a half step. And I drew the circle here because I like to think of it kind of like if you get a circle, you cut in half, you have a semicircle. I like to think of the semitone very similarly because a semitone is just half of a whole tone, also known as just a tone. Videos later on will go over more whole tones. In this video, we're just gonna be covering semitones. I just want you to keep in mind that it is a semitone half tone. Semitones apply when counting up the musical alphabet. Even though there's no sharp or flats in the middle of these two notes, B and C, and there's no sharp or flats in the middle of these two notes, E and F, it does not alter how you're going to count it. So your semitone or half step is simply each time you go up once. So if you don't understand that A sharp and B flat are the same notes, watch my video about the musical alphabet. Okay, since they are the same thing, we're just gonna make this easy and we're just gonna erase all the flats and we're just gonna think about the sharps. So how we translate the musical alphabet onto the fretboard is semitones. So when I was saying you put your finger on each one of these spaces, each one of these spaces represent a semitone. And being nature of semitones, it just goes up the musical alphabet. So we start on our E string. And as you can imagine, this would be our string. So you'd be putting your finger here. Okay, so what comes after E? Straight to F. So our first fret on the E string is an F note. Continuing to progress up the musical alphabet, we get F sharp, and then we just keep doing the same thing. Okay, so there's our E string. And remember, B and E don't have sharps, and after G, the alphabet repeats. So G does have a sharp. So we go G sharp, and then we restart the musical alphabet on A, as you can see here. This would be a perfect time to draw this yourself, fill in all the notes, and then I will show you the answers right now. All right, so here's all the guitar notes. Feel free to give me some feedback in the comments. It'd be great to hear that I helped you understand this. And as I was writing this down, since I'm only dealing with the sharps, in my head I keep saying, let it be. So I'm, I'm just going down this in my head. I keep repeating, let it be. And that way I know whenever I hit a B or an E, I do not put a sharp. So you keep using that method going all the way down the neck. And you'll notice that at this point, it'll restart. And that's because your 12th fret, which now you just learned is your 12th semitone, is an octave. This 12 semitone scale is known as your chromatic scale. If you count all these, it's 12. But if you forget about the sharps and you just count A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you have eight notes right there. So that's where you get your eight note octave from. But once you start throwing in your sharps, you're using the chromatic scale and you have 12 steps or 12 semitones in an octave. So F sharp and G flat are enharmonics, which means they are the same note but represented differently. So these are both the middle notes of F and G. They are just represented differently. Just like how hello and hola mean the same thing, but are represented differently. So if we look at our flats and our sharps, from F to A, we have five steps, including the first one. One, two, three, four, five. So we can get rid of our flats and just think about our sharps. So now we don't have to memorize two different names for the same thing. And remember, if any of this is confusing for you, my video on the musical alphabet explains this. 